हेलो फ्रेंड्स सो कंटिन्यूइंग विद दिस सेशन ऑन क्वाड्रेटिक इक्वेशन नाउ वी हैव गोइंग टू डिस्कस हाउ टू सॉल्व अ क्वाड्रेटिक इक्वेशन बाय कंप्लीटिंग द स्क्वायर मेथड ओके सो दिस पर्टिकुलर एक्सप्रेशन इज गोइंग टू बी अकरिंग टू अस मल्टीपल नंबर ऑफ टाइम्स कंप्लीटिंग द स्क्वायर okay so what is completing the square method so what is the problem with quadratic equation vis a vis let's say linear equation so in a linear equation guys we had you know very simple way of solving a linear equation in one variable let us say we had 5x minus 3 equals 0 so what was the method method was just uh, separate the uh, variable side and separate the constant side so hence we we would take this minus 3 on to the right hand side and it would become 5x is equal to 3 and now it becomes very easy to find out x and x is nothing but 3 upon 5 right so it was easy for us to do that separation of variables on one side and then uh, you know then solving it by simple cross multiplication now problem with quadratic equation is what does a quadratic equation look like so if you see a quadratic equation would be of the form of ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0 right where a is not equal to 0 and a b and c all belong to the set of real number isn't it this is quadratic equation now even if you separate the variable uh, let's say uh, terms with variables on one side so let me do do that so ax square plus bx and let me take this c on the other side so it becomes minus c now here we have a problem the problem is there is a x square term there is a x term how do we even find the value of x what should we do so at max what you can say you can take x out and it will become ax plus b so if you take x common and this is equal to minus c but now this is very difficult to find out what is the value of x in this case right because uh if you take one of the terms on the other side for example x would be here minus c upon ax plus b this is what we would have done if it would be a linear equation correct like here what did we do here but here if you see there is an x term here as well so we will not be able to find the value of x because the solution itself carries a variable so what to do so hence in this uh, you know one technique could be to you know uh, linearize the quadratic form or you know get something in form of you know where uh, um you know two linear terms or something like that where we equate and find the solution what do i mean so if you had ax square plus bx plus c uh somewhat let's say ax square plus bx b square plus c if you somehow really you know uh, reduce it to its factors linear factors right so we discussed it later on uh, earlier also so px plus q and rx plus rx plus uh, s let's say if you somehow do this then it then also it becomes you know uh, and then you equate it to zero and then it will become easier to solve it or let us say if you had ax square plus bx plus bx equals to minus c what you could do is convert this thing into this form px plus q whole square form this is what is called completing the square form if you do this kind of a thing and here let us say this is you know reduced to k then px px plus q could be written as plus minus root k if you take the square root then you see it becomes a linear equation now it and it will be easier to solve this one so that is what we learn in completing the square method complete this part or the entire quadratic equation or you know convert this this term this thing into a square term and the moment square term comes you can take the square root on both sides and basically reduce a quadratic to a linear so if i reduce a quadratic equation to set of linear equations then my job is done so hence this is called this is what is incremental learning so we learned how to solve linear equation previously now we are trying to solve quadratic equation by converting or using the you know uh, principles of solving linear equation right that is what this method elaborates so let's see what how does we how do we do it
the quadratic equation will be of the form of ax square plus bx plus c equals 0 right this is the equation so and we know already that a is not equal to 0 and a b c all belongs to the set of real numbers right now step one what you need to do is you divide the entire equation by a square a divide the equation by a a is what coefficient of coefficient of coefficient of x square okay so hence what will you get you will get x square plus b upon a x plus c upon a equals 0 right now what take now here 0 upon a so we actually did 0 upon a as well which is equal to 0 okay so remember this now what take the constant constant on rhs take the con shift the constant term to rhs so what will you get you will get x square plus b by ax is equal to minus c upon a okay third 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 step is so add b square upon 4a square to both sides to both sides and why are we doing this well, let me show why are, are we doing this if you see x square plus b by a 2x can be written as 2 times x times b by 2a right now you know notice this very carefully so this is 2 times x times b times 2a why because see 2 and 2 is apparently getting cancelled out isn't it so it will be left with x times b by a which is here so th this term is not getting changed but why did i do this arrangement is simply because now if you see this looks like a square terms and here it is 2a and this item becomes a whole b right so i am saying i am looking at x square as a square right and 2 times a times b where if you see this looks like exactly what i'm i'm writing here 2 times a is x and b is b upon 2a right so if i somehow add here b square what would be b square b square will be simply i'm assuming this to be b capital b so it will be b square by 4a square isn't it so if you add this what will be the advantage this is what is called completing the square so if you notice this is nothing but reduces to a plus b whole square isn't it so that's why i am adding what b square by 4a square to both sides so if i did it like this so it will be b square by 4a square on the right hand side minus c by a was already there correct so now so what will happen so now let us you know uh, fourth step is fourth step will be simplify this and complete the square Hmm. so complete the square complete the square on lhs so what will it be so if you see what is this square now this this thing can the lhs can be written as x plus b upon 2a whole squared x plus b by 2 upon a b, b by b upon 2a whole squared right lhs is this much you can verify this leads to this only so this is same as this yep and now what on the right hand side let's simplify a little bit so it is 4a square common denominator and upper the numerator is b square minus 4a c so if you see if you take the common denominator 4a square the numerator will be reduced to b square minus 4a c correct now what guys so hence now express it as difference of express as difference of two square difference of two squares and solve what does it mean so first of all we def define a term d d is 
called discriminant of quadratic equation discriminant okay where d is equal to b square minus 4ac so this i am calling it as, as d you know just a uh, substitution uh, for simplification of calculation as well as other uh, you know purposes so we'll see what is the significance of d a little later but for the time being let me call this entire term as capital d so the equation is reduced to x plus b by 2a whole squared is equal to d by 4a squared okay now the same equation can be written as x plus b by 2a whole squared minus d by 4a squared equals 0 and now i can write this as x plus b by 2a whole squared minus root of d by 2a whole squared equals 0 right now pause here and understand why did i do this so d can be written as root of d square isn't it so i wrote that there so that i can get a square term here as well so what does this resemble if you see this particular left hand side of this equation is resembling a square minus b square form so this is what difference of square form right so difference of square is nothing but a minus b and a plus b isn't it right so i can write this as x plus b by 2a minus root d by 2a times x times x plus b by 2a plus root of plus root of d by 2a and this is equal to 0 so hence what what can we do now hence what we can what can we do now so we can now express this as x plus b by 2a minus root d by 2a equals to 0 or x plus b by 2a plus root d by 2a equals to 0 right we have seen that by factorization method solving the equation by factorization method so from here what do we get we get x is equal to minus b by 2a plus root d by 2a or from here you will get x is equal to minus b by 2a minus root d by 2a isn't it right so hence you can write this as minus b plus you know root d is nothing but b square minus 4ac upon twice of a uh, or x is equal to minus b minus root of b square minus 4ac upon twice of a correct so you will see this is also uh, the method of you know finding the roots of a quadratic equation by you know quadratic formula so eventually this is what is called quadratic formula as well quadratic formula as well so what are the values so let me summarize summary so summary is very simple so if you have a quadratic equation ax square plus bx plus c equals 0 then where a is not equal to 0 and a b and c are real 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 numbers then x solution x is equal to minus b minus under root b square minus 4 a c by twice a and x is equal to minus b plus under root b square minus 4 a c by 2 a please remember this yep this is the you know uh, if any any time you get stuck while solving a quadratic equation this formula is going to rescue you so this is valid under all circumstances right so a not equals to 0 if you see here in the denominator is 2a right so clearly a cannot be 0 otherwise there are no roots defined isn't it so hence a cannot be 0 from this perspective as well let us take an example example could be let us say i have an equation 9x square minus 15x minus 15x plus 6 equals 0 so what are the values of a and b and c a is 9 b is 15 and sorry b is minus 15 do not so this is a mistake many people do including me as well 
so minus 15 and c is equal to 6 so never never miss the sign now what so let us use the formula above which we derived so x will be equal to what minus b so minus b is minus minus 15 then minus under root b square so minus 15 whole square minus 4 times a a is 9 and c is 6 c is 6 divided by twice of a that is 2 into 9 right so what will this value be this is nothing but 15 minus under root 225 minus this is nothing but 4 9 36 and 36 into 6 is 216 so if you see this is 216 right divided by 18 18 and it is 15 minus under root uh, 225 minus 216 is 9 divided by 18 so hence it is 15 minus 3 upon 18 which is 12 upon 18 hence it is 2 upon 3 correct one value is 2 upon 3 and another value will be uh, simply you have to instead of this minus you there will be a plus so hence another value is simply 15 plus root 9 upon 18 so hence it is nothing but 15 plus 3 18 upon 18 that is 1 so if we check these are the two two solutions two solution to the given quadratic equation but we had to do it by completing the square we just check the formula the formula definitely works but how to come you know solve it using completing the square method let us do it again 9x square minus 15x plus 6 equals 0 what was the first step first step was if you see divide entire thing by a so hence you will get x square minus 15 upon 9 a is 9 here x plus 6 upon 9 equals 0 then what do you do you take the constant term onto the right hand side so 15 by 9x is equal to minus 6 upon 9 then you do what you add b square minus 4a b square sorry you add uh, b uh, what is that um, b square by 4a square to both sides so hence you add x square minus 15 by 9 or, or you can if you don't uh, want to mug up the steps so what you can do is you can do step by step which can indicate to you all that so x square you can write minus 2 times x times 15 upon 2 times 9 that is what we did and this is minus and I can you know simplify 6 by 9 and write 2 upon 3 okay now this will get, give you a hint of completing the square how to complete the square x square minus 2 times x times 15 upon 18 and then you add 15 square by 18 square isn't it so that's this is what the b term was so I added that so I have to add both sides 15 square by 18 square and now 2 by 3 was as it is right now this will complete my square so you can write this as x minus 15 upon 18 whole squared right a minus b whole squared is a square minus 2ab plus b square which was above so i completed the square and this is nothing but now let us simplify 15 upon 18 is 5 upon 6 isn't it 15 upon 18 is 5 upon 6 so it is 5 square by 6 square minus 2 by 3 okay so what will this be now this is nothing but x minus 5 upon 6 whole square is equal to now this is 25 by 36 and i can you know equate the denominator so make the denominator same so it will be 24 upon 36 if you see 2 upon 3 is 24 upon 36 so hence this becomes x minus 5 by 6 whole square is equal to 1 upon 36 isn't it so hence if you really you know take the square root both the sides or you can do the difference method so you can say x minus 5 by 6 whole square minus 1 by 6 whole square is equal to 0 i took 1 by 36 on the left hand side and represented is as 1 by 6 whole square and now difference of two square will be x minus 5 by 6 minus 1 by 6 a minus v term and a plus b term will be x minus 5 by 6 plus 1 by 6 right and this is equal to 0 because why if you consider this as this whole as a so this is a square 
and this is b square so hence next step will be a minus b a plus b equals 0 right and that is what was there in this step so simplifying it further or now taking you know one by one all the factors can be equated to 0 so but let's simplify first so this is if you see the first term is nothing but minus 6 upon 6 and this one is x minus 4 upon 6 is equal to 0 so hence x equals to 6 upon 6 that is 1 or x equals to 4 upon 6 which is equal to 2 upon 3 so if you check we got the same result with complete by completing the square method as well and when we deployed the formula then also we got the same result 2 by 3 here and 1 here so we'll take up more of such uh, uh, problems solved examples in the subsequent sessions